question I get very often is, I've found that the silver I received from my mother-in-law or mother was silver plate, and I was disappointed, I was hoping it was sterling, they thought it was sterling, and now what do I do with it? It tarnishes, it sits on the shelf, I don't want it. So anyway, is there any market for this? Most of it was wedding gifts from the 1930s and 40s. It was uh, you know, something that looked nice and was an easy gift to give and it really actually didn't cost a lot. So what, what do you do with it? There's two kinds. There's hollowware, like this water pitcher, and there's flatware. And um, let's talk about the flatware first. There's 5,000 different patterns of silver plated flatware. Of those, about 35 are what you call collectible, where there's a, a strong market for them. Very tiny percentage. Then there's probably another couple of hundred, let's say 300, where there are a lot of people who have the pattern, and so it is saleable. That leaves about 4,700 patterns where there isn't much demand. What I would suggest is that you contact a sterling or silver plated matching service and see if they're interested. For instance, right now we are paying the princely sum of 50 cents each piece for um, silver plate flatware if it's in good condition. And there's always the chance that it's going to be one of the few valuable ones where it actually is worth some money. Okay, then let's talk about hollowware. Now, hollowware is, as I say, is like a pitcher, it's like a tray, it can be a tea set. And um, there are, again, two types. One is patterns, or is made in connection with a flatware pattern that might have some value. Like this water pitcher is the Grand Baroque pattern. So there's a sterling pattern, and then they made silver plated hollow and go with it. So, you know, a pitcher like this, we bought at the shop for $25. That's not bad for silver plate. Most of it's not a pattern. And then what do you do with it? Really no company wants to buy it. There really is no market for it. One interesting story I had was a woman came in and I said, do you have sterling or silver plated hollowware? And she said, it's sterling. She brought it in and it was all silver plate. And I said, I thought she said it was sterling. And she said, it tarnishes like crazy. So it had to be sterling. Well, silver plate does tarnish too. Anyway, she said she didn't want to take it back, she wanted to leave it here. I donated it to a church auction. Uh, they came back with it, they couldn't get a dollar a piece. And so um, I had it back. But what I suggest is that you go to a store like a Macy's, see what they sell the things for, and then donate it to a charity and Experiences show that if you take about 25% of what a store is selling an item for, it would be uh, an allowable tax deduction. Thank you.